I guess uh, I have accumulated a interesting collection of images that are quite useful just to show younger generations what has gone on in the past because for those of us of a certain age we you know we lived through it all but then of course we need to recall that there are lots of younger people around the place for whom this is all these matters are just uh, sort of history book uh, entries and it's good for them to have visual um, images that are generated from beyond the newspaper areas and uh, uh, of course, photographs are very great for sort of um, evoking people's memories and just sort of um, explaining to people um, exactly what happened, um, you know, in those days. Yeah, we heard one of um, the uh, participants here mention that they perhaps represent an alternative viewpoint of uh, history. Do you uh, agree with that? Uh, you know, people can take. Um, document things, yeah, events in, in particular ways and I suppose um, you're, whether you support it, whether you support um, the particular issue or not can show up in, in the sorts of images you can. A, a person photographing tends, you try and be dispassionate because you just want to um, um, just to show what happens, but uh, um, I guess the, fear, the, the mere fact that one sort of chooses to get involved in photographing these issues uh, shows that, that you know you, you're, you support the cause, um, whether it's sort of sports tours, sporting tours against South, with South Africa, or the various wars, or or genetic engineering, and uh, it's just. Um, you tend to sort of try and get the good angles on the banners and get the banners stretched so you can read them properly. When it comes the Springbok tour, I suppose, is a, that was a, a separate sort of um, situation of, by itself. Um, I've just photographed what was going on in front of me as much as I could, and uh, in the last 30 years it's quite interesting to see what we sort of became inured to and sort of accepted as, you know, well, this is what it's like at the moment, and we've just got barbed wire and jumbo bins everywhere and the police look like invaders from Mars with uh, sort of truncheons and <laughs> visors. And uh, from 30 years down the track, people looking at it uh, just cannot believe that the place was almost on a war, a civil war footing. And so it's really very interesting to have a whole set of photographs and in this particular instance I have the audio as well um, and so people can really it really hits hard uh, when they see the colour images so much of the media these days is in colour but back then most of it was in black and white and apart from television news which is very ephemeral it's in, on the screen then vanishes the print media and books, generally the Springbok tour is a black and white visual history apart from a very small handful of us who photographed it in colour. And so when you see it in colour, you get an almost immediacy, like because contemporary news is in colour. So it sort of drags it out of a historical angle and it sort of seems sort of much more real you know that it could have been shot last week or it could have been shot in some other country where they're having all these big sort of um, violent demonstrations at the moment so that's an interesting sort of um, consequence of documenting a particular violent situation uh, in that particular way so um because usually i photograph i've been photograph photographing in black and white for quite a while and i've um, but um, on some occasions, um, uh, yeah, I, uh, you know, I can see that colour has have, does have an interesting sort of um, effect on people who watch, who have a look at the images, especially along uh, quite some time down the track.